that can a man who's not good enough to be a daughter? It's like, I've heard that before. Like, a mother literally said <laughs> she doesn't want her daughter dated a man with dreads, you know, so. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I know my hair looks crazy, but I was getting ready and almost done. So I thought, oh, now that I look cute, I might as well turn the camera on while I'm doing my edges and talk about something that's on my mind. Um, last week, I know we talked about um, women's uh, male influence on women's hair. And this week, uh, I just want to talk about um, women's influence on men's hair, you know, so I can balance the topic out. So I felt like today was a great time to do this recording and talk about that. Um, if you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, you know, turn on the bell notification so you get a notification each time I post a new video. Please make sure you leave a comment down below and thanks to all my returning subscribers. So this topic, um, I'm not a guy, so obviously I don't know exactly how like our influence as women affect men but I can just give a little of my two cents from like my interactions with other women and my preferences as a woman as well and then just my experience from talking to other men you know so I'm not like claiming to know too much about this topic or know how the men feel but at the same time I know that I have a little bit of knowledge right but yeah excuse me because I'm going to be going back and forth doing my edges and talking but as a woman I know that when we're together you know we talk a lot about our preferences what we like what we don't like and sometimes those preferences are also the way a man's hair look his haircut so I'm not going to cut this I'm just going to do my edges like that because I don't have time yeah so sometimes we talk about, oh, I like this particular haircut, I like my hair this certain way. So sometimes it's like women, sometimes some of us women, we have like really high standards or very particular, I don't know, just say high standards necessarily. We have how we would like our men to look, you know, which is very natural because, I mean, Get attracted to someone based on their first based on their appearance so a lot of times I know we talk about men with beards a lot of times I know women talk about men who have beards they like beards I don't know you know <laughs> different women are attracted to different kind of men you know different strokes for different folks but I'm really curious to know like how the men feel so if there's any man who is going to come to this video to this channel so obviously i'm gonna ask that question but for now i'm just going to say like women like what they like and they talk about it they're really like oh my goodness i like a man who has a beer or i like a man with a fresh cut in this kind of way you know i like a man who has dreads but some styles have always been very typical i know for sure some african parents just stereotype men with dreads they just think that kind of man is not good enough to be a daughter it's like i've heard that before like a mother literally said <laughs> she doesn't want her daughter dated a man with dreads you know so i guess sometimes men's hair styles can be influenced by women but i don't know how far as i said i can only elaborate from the extent to which i know but I know that women like what they like. They might talk to a man based on his hairstyle. You know, like, does that hairstyle makes him more attractive? Which is true, though. How we do our hair, male, female, you know, makes us attractive in one way or the other. And I know I've met some men who, like, grow their hair really long or in a fro. And sometimes their girlfriends are not all for it. But it's one of those things that you reach a compromise. The same way last week I spoke about how women compromise you know sometimes with their spouses 
based on the kind of hair that they have or sometimes they just go on and do it and do whatever they want so this hair thing is always going to be a topic and i know that even just talking to some friends you know they they're all attracted to different kinds of men so and and i'm sure that it's not just my thought but some men have probably experienced that before so yeah i just wanted to come on the camera make the topics balanced and talk about the fact that we women we have our preferences and that those preferences can put some burden on men you know on how they should look about their hair and i also know men can be sensitive like <laughs> i'm not even gonna bat my words on this because men are very particular about who does their hair very 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 particular like us women sometimes we would go here and there because we want to try new people or there's a discount in the salon we just go to try but my experience with men they're very particular about who cuts their hair and if a man has a bad, bad haircut he's gonna wear a hat you know so talk about who is more sensitive with hair so definitely i know men they're very detailed with their hair i can't talk too much as i said before to how exactly like our influence is to their hair but i think it's another top, uh, topic that we'll probably get to explore as for instance, if I get somebody who's willing to talk about that, we're definitely going to elaborate on, on that because I, I really want to know. I'm really curious. So leave a comment below and just, you know, maybe talk about how like women's preferences influence men's male hairstyles or if you know that men would do things that are more hairstyles that are more attractive to women as much as women do and vice versa. So please leave a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I have to run now. Please leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe, and do come back to my channel. Bye. And another top from my friend's brand. I'll put the link in the description below. Check out her website and shop from her boutique. Thank you.